Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is my deck collection. Hey, today we're going to look at two uh, different uh, card designers. We're going to look at Circle City cards and we're going to look at Carnival cards from Big Blind Media. First off, Circle City. Circle City playing cards was originally Russell Kirchival. Uh, these came out a long while back. Uh, in fact, Circle City playing cards was one of the very first uh, custom deck designers that introduced me to Kickstarter. When I first started looking at custom decks, uh, this first deck that I'm going to show you, the Americana deck, was one of the very first custom decks I remember that was being printed outside of magic houses like Illusionist. And so I think when I first saw the Americana deck, I was like, oh wow, I've, I've got to get back into deck collecting. And so the Americana deck, I think, uh, and Russell Kirchival's um, designs uh, greatly influenced me coming back into deck collecting. Uh, he had the Brimstone decks, uh, which went into reprint later. And I've done reviews for that. There was a deck that looked kind of like a blueprint. It was called Revision 1. And then the two decks we're going to look at today, Americana and Hornet. This is the Americana deck. Uh, it has a very country, very early American theme. Uh, with this deck, you'll feel as though you stepped out of a time machine and into the Old West as soon as you hold the Americana deck in your hands. Uh, the Americana deck embodies the spirit of the Old West better than any other deck of cards I've seen. It features period faces and backs. Each card has a cracked, aged design that looks like it came straight out of a dusty old saloon. And you can almost hear the honky-tonk piano and loud arguments in the bar in the background. The Americana deck uh, even includes some special gaff cards from Magic. There's an Ace of Hearts that seems to have been shot right in the center, and a Four of Spades with some blood spattering and a fingerprint. One of the Jokers even has a convenient reveal built into the design. The second deck is the Hornet, number six playing cards. This is a classic uh, deck of cards that was revisited from Russell. Uh, it was nearly a hundred year old lost design from the archives and Russell brought it back to life. You never know how long a pack of really fine cards will last until you use the Hornet brand playing cards. Superior from every quality standpoint, made from the finest grade materials and honest skilled labor. There's a barcode reveal on the box and different reveals uh, on one of the jokers. The faces feature an unusual combination of colors. You'll notice that the uh, suits are blue and gold. And then the base color of the cards isn't white, it's cream. The backs feature an interlocking floral design. This deck also includes an ad card and a now rarely offered substitute card. Okay, so also way back in the day when I first started collecting playing cards, uh, Big Blind Media uh, had a brand of playing cards, a line called Carnival, and they were really just like heavy metal. Uh, that's really the best way to describe it. They're really extreme, a lot of goth images, really dark and skeletons and all kinds of really cool imagery. Very busy. They weren't simple cards. They are very, very busy. Um, the first one here that I have is the Dead Eyes. It was inspired by gothic medieval imagery and the world of serial killers, uh, if you can believe it. Uh, this deck features 56 beautiful pieces of artwork. And every single card has been painstakingly crafted by master designer Sam Hales. From a blood spattered court card to the aged and distressed jokers, the carnival dead eyes are beautiful and yet very macabre. The entire deck has been designed, uh, redesigned I should say. The faces of every card are in keeping with the theme and feel of the deck and it has really stunning color. The value of each card is printed in on the left and right side so you can actually read the Pippin Indice in a ribbon spread. A beautifully realized card reveal on one of the jokers has a ten of spades appears inside the skull. And then there's a bonus card with the message, you will choose the five of diamonds emblazoned across it. You get a blank faced card for magic routines and then the hidden card reveal on the bottom of the card case. My second deck from the carnival line is the Ryujin deck of cards. The Carnival Ryujins represent a totally new look for the bicycle deck with a brand new eye, uh, catching back design. You get new Ace of Spades, new Jokers, new Case, new useful bonus cards, and uh, the Metallica Gold ink has been used to replace all of the yellow from the faces of the deck, creating a truly distinctive pack of cards. This deck was also designed by renowned artist Sam Hales and printed on thick, high-grade stock. These cards are truly beautiful. You get the world-famous United States Playing Card Company Airflow Finish for superb handling and unparalleled 
durability. You get three amazing card reveals built into this deck. You get a bonus card, which says you will choose the five of diamonds. One of the jokers has a nine of hearts under the tip of her blade and the bottom of the card case says ace of hearts. You get an amazing and super subtle one-way back design. You can spot reverse cards even in a face down ribbon spread. You'll also get a blank face card included with every deck. All right, and then the last of my Carnival line is the Carnival Dose Redux Edition, or Redo Edition. Uh, this is the second printing of this deck. This deck would later go on into a third, a, a third printing, which uh, everything was red colored or rose colored. This is a stunning, totally new design. Every card has been reimagined and beautifully rendered by renowned French artist Sam Hales. It has a theme somewhere between grungy postmodern and elegant macabre. This is a really cool deck. It can be integrated with standard bicycle cards and other decks from the Carnival line, uh, and that would probably give you some really cool routines. Brought to you, of course, by Big Blind Media uh, and the United States Playing Card Company. This deck has a beautifully realized card reveal on one of the Jokers. There's an Ace of Hearts, which pokes out from the crack in the Joker's skull. You'll get a bonus card with a message, you will choose the Four of Clubs, emblazoned across that. And you'll get a double faced card to use in your magic routines, and you'll get a hidden card reveal on the bottom of the card case, which says Jack of Clubs. All right, so that is five more decks of cards to add to my card collection. Of course, uh, if you watch some of my card collection videos, you'll see uh, some of the other decks that I have in my card collection. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.